Lena here. I am back with another <laughs> new release video. And uh, in January, we released four new collections, several sets of chippies, uh, but we also have two brand new products, vellums and uh, card bases. So I will show you everything <laughs> that is included into this release. But this time, uh, because of a few suggestions in the comment section, I decided to show you the overview on all of the products. It will be like a quicker one. And then I will focus on each collection in separate videos. So I will show you then every paper, um, every die cut, everything that is included in each collection. Um, and this way you will be able either to see everything just in a glance or focus more on the products you are more into, uh, especially collections, because it's easier to showcase a set of chippies than the whole collection. So let's get to work because it will be a long video from what I think. And I will be back to you to show you everything that is included. We'll just need to clean the desk first. I am back and I will start with paper collections as always. And we have four new collection released. Uh, we have a spring is here collection that is perfect for upcoming spring, Easter. We have a traveler collection, which is as the name suggests a travel team collection, but with the vintage vibe. We have always and forever a wedding collection in a very soft pastel colors. And we have cute, wonderful, child kids collection i would say called playtime and i think i will start with the playtime so i will put aside those at first and i will show you what's included in this collection and um again as i mentioned i will uh, not show you every element i will just quickly show you the collection uh so we have more time for other products and we will be back uh, in another video just for the Playtime collection and any other collection. So, as always, uh, we have six double-sided papers in each collection. You can purchase them separately, you can purchase them in the form of a kit, and then you get two of each paper, which means 12 papers, plus the bonus cover, and the bonus cover, uh, of course, has all the uh, a presentation of the collection, but on the back, you can fussy cut all those elements out. And if you would uh, like have more of those you can purchase the separate paper that is um, with the same elements here but the back side has some extra pattern so you can purchase this separately if you want to have more of those uh, elements uh, so let me quickly show you the papers in the collection uh, we have seen with the back so uh, I am showing you paper to paper so this is the front this is the back of each paper paper number two front paper number two back front and back four and back of the four fifth paper and the back of the paper and sixth paper with the three by four uh, rectangles and the back of this paper. So those are all the papers from this uh, collection. And again, I will show you them better in another video. We also have a uh, add-on uh, paper pad, which is um, 24 double-sided papers, eight different double-sided designs, which give you three of each. And again, I will only show you this like this and i will be back with another video showcasing each paper here we have six by six paper pad and this paper pad is like a mini version of 12 by 12 papers we have 24 papers here four of each design every design is sort of shrinked so you get exactly the same uh, and in front and in back you get some extra bonus elements for fussy cutting we also have uh, 60 paper die cuts for this collection and this is how they look. All the elements here you can find inside 
and in a separate video i will show you what's exactly in here and we have 20 several paper elements uh, and we have envelopes that you need to assemble put them together like fold and glue together we have some tickets uh, tags circles so again i will show you all of this on the separate video so this is the quick overview over the playtime collection and let me find some space to put it aside i think floor <laughs> floor is the space so another collection is called spring is here and we have again six double-sided papers you can purchase them separately you can purchase them in kit if you purchase them in kit you will get this one uh, and this is like a bonus cover with elements for fussy cutting on the back uh, all the cute uh, flowers bunnies all things that resemble spring and of course you can purchase like an uh, extra sheet of this paper and in the one side you will have elements and the b side will be just a simple pattern so this is a cover and those are the papers showing uh, i'm showing them front to back so front of one paper number two paper number three paper number four paper number five and paper number six with three by four frames so this is how the papers in this collection look and again we have a six by six paper pad with exactly the same designs strings 24 elements uh, four of each design double sided and front and back have exactly the same sheet of few elements for uh, fussy cutting we have add-on book which has different patterns than in this bigger set eight different designs double-sided which give you 16 different uh, patterns and two of those have element for uh, fussy cutting so again i will show you this better in a, a separate video for this collection only we have 60 paper die cuts and this is what you get inside and for more you will have to come back for another video and we have uh, 27 paper elements in this collection and again envelopes tickets tags circles envelopes you need to assemble they are not pre-folded and uh, pre-glued so you'll need to put it uh, together so this is the uh, spring is here collection let me put it aside and i am back <laughs> with another this one is called traveler and it's a travel team collection with a vintage vibe focusing mostly on the train inspired by the orient express and you can purchase papers separately you can purchase papers in kit you get six double-sided papers and the cover with elements for fussy cutting and if you wish so you can purchase the separate paper and this is uh, this paper elements are exactly the same but you get like a simple pattern on the other side instead of this so you can purchase this paper separately and here are the papers from the collection this is paper number one and the back side of this paper paper number two and the back side paper number three and the back paper number four and the back and i said i will be back again with a more overview on each collection where i will just focus more on the patterns and everything so please come back for some other video and the last paper paper with a three by four rectangles and the back of this paper so those are the papers from this collection we have six by six paper pad as always 24 double-sided papers exactly the same design uh, the same designs just shrink down 
to a six by six size plus the bonus elements on the cover this is the six by eight add-on paper pack where you will find eight different uh, designs double-sided plus uh, elements for fussy cutting and here we have a tickets uh, so this is it and again come back to another video where i will show you all the elements from this collection we have 60 uh, paper die cuts and those die cuts looks like this and we have uh, 27 seven paper elements and again envelopes tickets tags circles all the elements you will need for this collection and in this case uh, just remember you will have to assemble the envelopes so this is the traveler collection and remember to be back for uh, more in <laughs> Uh, inside view uh, video for this collection and the last collection we have we have always and forever line this is the wedding theme collection and it has beautiful soft faster colors and again you get six double-sided papers you can purchase them separately you can purchase them as a kit if you purchase them as a kit you get this bonus cover and on the back you have all the elements for uh, fussy cutting and again if you need more of this and you don't want to purchase another set of papers you can just buy this paper uh, with all the same elements but the B side has some soft pattern and let me show you quickly the papers paper number one and the back cover paper number two and the back paper number three and the B side paper number four. Oh, this one is pretty <laughs> I haven't seen those papers yet well in the previous but not in like a real life this one screams spring to me so it's not only uh, a wedding for sure and the last with three by four uh, rectangles and the B side of those so here are the papers from the Always and Forever collection. We have a 6x6 six six paper pad with exactly the same designs. They are just downsized to uh, the quarter of the size. And uh, we have front and back covers with some elements for uh, fussy cutting. We also have this add-on paper pack. And this add-on paper pack has 24 designs, but it has eight different designs, double-sided, which gives you 16 new patterns. And some of them, as you can see, are like, in this case, scenes and elements for uh, fussy cutting. So, and it repeats three times. So this is the uh, six by eight add-on pack we have die cuts of course and those die cuts uh, we have 60 of them you can see all of them here on the preview but please come back for a separate video where i will show you all the elements that are included into this collection and the last but not least 27 paper elements so we have envelopes we have tickets tags circles again you will need to assemble the envelopes and those elements are double-sided so uh, one side is this and the second side is a simple um, pattern let me quickly show you what it is in this case so in this case it's just beige paper uh, with uh, like a simple pattern so here it is all for new collections is a quick glimpse and now i will show you other uh, stuff you got in this new release uh, it's me back again and uh, in this release we have a set of chippies that you already are familiar with but we have two new groups of products and one of them are card bases and the second one are printed vellums, decorative vellums. So I think I will focus on those first and then we will move to other projects. So I will put it aside and vellums for the vellums. I think I will pull out uh, some craft paper. Oh, sorry for 
the noise so you will be able to see them better. Uh, where's some craft paper of mine? Yeah, so this is the sheet of craft paper and you will be able to see all the patterns better. So we have six vellums uh, in this first batch. Um, and three of them have like a repetitive pattern and three of them have elements that you can either use as a whole sheet or you can fussy cut them. And the vellum is quite thick, like not as thick as paper, but it's as for the vellum, not so thin. So it has like for me the perfect um, thickness. And something I would like to point out, maybe it will be bad better visible in smaller elements this is not like a flat print if you use your finger you can feel it so it is a little bit raised over the surface uh, so it kind of looks like a hot um, embossing like when you use embossing powders and embossing ink and you heat can it and you get this wonderful uh, kind of uh, enamel like looking effect this looks exactly like this so this is thin a uh, thick like i don't know you can see it has this glossy shine on top of it it's not flat in it's not like a, a printer ink it's really 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 nice and uh th this is the flowers number one so those are the elements you can fussy cut from it and use as elements of the composition so we have leaves we have flowers in different kind of things and you may wonder what i can do with uh, the uh, vellum so first you can use it in your albums as dividers so put vellum between each page and it will prevent some of the elements like uh, die cuts from left and right to kind of um, interfere stack and they will not cluster together and so if you will open the album you will be able to move page after page without all those elements kind of trying to catch and trap each other so this is the first and it will be great for all the solid uh, patterns uh, with patterns like this you can fussy cut those elements and use them like they are into your albums into your cards into your layouts but you can also color them and for coloring them i would recommend either crayons uh, soft crayons or alcoholic markers it doesn't matter which brand they are um, but they are not wetting the vellum. It stays on the surface, so it prevents vellum from warping. It's very sensitive to the moisture. So if you use something wet, like watercolors, it will just bend and crumble and it will look awful. So we do not want to wet it, but as I mentioned, you can color it. And coloring it with alcoholic inks with, will um, kind of create very artsy uh, effect because as i mentioned the ink doesn't soak into the vellum it stays on the uh, surface so it creates all those puddles and all those um all those i don't know sharp edges between the colors let me quickly show you the card i've already made with the vellums so in this case, I fussy cut butterflies and I fussy cut flowers and just use them on the design like they are. I don't know if you can see how they are shining here, but I also used the piece of the uh, vellum with um, just the, this is a Moroccan tile pattern. Uh, so I just combined three different vellums here. But for this card, I used alcohol markers to color them. And the key to the success is to color on the back because markers, alcohol markers will color also over the white, um, white print. So if you want to keep it clean, paint it from the back. This way uh, you will only show the color from the back. So see here, it's painted in the back. The color is still showing and again, those artsy 
like looking effect they are really really awesome mm, so you can easily color it and it will create wonderful effects especially for those but you can color the solid pattern too and the solid pattern can be colored with let's say uh, distress oxide inks you can use the sponge you can use the brush to color it to create ombre effects and you will get this clean design on the top if you color it from the back Mm, so let me quickly show you the patterns in the vellum uh, we have those flowers and again they are like i don't know how to describe it you can feel it the texture under your fingers we have a pattern called lace and this is just a pretty solid uh, lace pattern that you can cut a piece of and it will look great we have doilies and those doilies can be used just as a pattern you can cut a piece of it and it will also look great but they were also designed the way you can cut them out so each of them uh, is the whole doily they do not overlap like with the previous patterns so they are perfect for fussy cutting and they will be amazing for layering in your projects and again you can color them if you wish uh, with the techniques i uh, described to you uh, but please be careful with moisture and again it also applies with uh, adding glue do not add glue all over it add only tiny spots of glue and the best way to apply glue would be under those white uh, lines so the glue will not show there are special glues and special especially double sided tapes designed for vellum so they will not show from the back so look out for those we have pattern called dots so it's a simple uh very versatile pattern we have pattern called moroccan trellis uh, and it looks like this again simple pattern very very uh, elegant and the last one is butterflies and this can be fussy cutted we have bigger on the bottom smaller on the top we have uh, full butterflies butterflies from the side uh, so it gives you so many great uh, opportunities something you haven't had before of course we will add more of the vellum in the future uh, more patterns and uh, i i have already seen a question if there will be a vellum dedicated to each collection well we are not planning this at this point uh, we are planning to release vellums that are great for any type of project any type collection uh, the same that we do with the chippies but it doesn't win, uh, mean that we'll, we will not release a vellum that will work especially great with one of the collections like we do with the chippies we do not have chippies dedicated to each collection but like when we released the great outdoors collection we also had a chippy set called outdoor that goes well with this theme um so we will not release a um, separate vellum for each collection so far maybe the plans will change we will see what life will bring but um, we will keep it as a separate um line of products uh, that will go well with every collection something similar as we do with our books so those are the vellums let me put them aside and here is another new product and this those are card bases so we have three different sizes and each size come uh, with a different uh, Two different finishes so we have white and we have a craft and this is exactly the same paper that we used for our fancy cards and this is exactly the same paper we used for um, printing our papers when it comes to white and you can also purchase 12 by 12 uh, cardstock sets uh, and those are again the same cardstock so uh, we have uh greeting card base and they are packed by tens so you have 10 card bases inside and we have uh, 
21 by 10.5 centimeters because they are all counted in centimeters as we do in Poland and Europe. Well, not all Europe, all most of the Europe. So we use metric system, but there are also sizes added in inches, but they kind of seem off. It's not like a rounded a number. Um, and the card is pre-scored. Here is the scoring but you will need to fold it by yourself. And when it comes to craft, you have two sizes you can choose. So we have this um, more light in color, but with more rough uh, finish. And this is uh, like um, a smoother finish, but a darker side. Many craft papers are this way. It's not like um, <laughs> we design it especially like this, but just craft papers come usually into different finishes onto different size so we have one white and we have uh, one craft and exactly the same in white color and i mentioned before they are pre-scored so basically you need to score it and it's good to have like a bone folder to make the scoring more like a flat one so this is the uh, uh, 21 by 10.5 centimeters and then i mentioned 10 of each inside and we have a uh, craft and white we have a uh, rectangular card bases those are uh, 11.5 by 15.5 centimeters and again two uh, different um, finishes again we have a scoring line added so all you need to do is to fold it in half and just reinforce the folding with the bone folder and um, the third is a square card and this one is 14th by 14th centimeters which is five and a half by five and a half inches and again scoring line is added in both and i usually use a little bit smaller size 13 by 13 so what i like to do i just like to trim the base i use those bases i just trim them to the size i want of course you can use them like it is it's probably <laughs> even better because you will find the perfect envelopes for this but um I like to make dimensional cards. If they are smaller, they fit better into the bigger envelope. If the envelope is like slightly bigger than the card and the card is dimensional, it will not close nicely. That's why I like to make them smaller. And the question you may ask, no, we don't have we don't sell matching envelopes. We only sell card bases. So this is not a set with cards and envelopes those are only card bases and 10 of each in each packaging so those are the card bases and the last but for sure no not least product we have new sets of chippies and we haven't released any like a decor 12 by 12 decor chippies uh, for a while that's why we decided to add this basket it will be perfect for easter projects because we pick eggs into the basket uh, or in Poland we carry a special type of food to the church in the basket so uh, basket will be for sure a good pattern for upcoming months and we uh, decided to include bigger and a smaller one because there was just a room for this so uh, we added the smaller version we have a chippies called Easter 2. Last year we released uh, Easter like one set. Uh, and this time we have Easter 2. And there are bunnies. Those are really, really cute. Uh, bunnies on the side. Baskets, uh, chickens, little eggs, some flowers. And the big word, well, quite big word, Easter. Mm, and some uh, decorative eggs oh there is even a, a little lamp here so this is the set for easter this one is called flowers and uh, there are basically like a flower silhouettes and some of them are um, like uh, spring flowers like tulips or daffodils 
I think this is a lily, but some of them are like whole year round flowers. And of course you can use tulips or a daffodils whole year round too. And you can use those to color your own flowers. You just cut it out. You take crayons at the middle, add shading. And I have seen people doing this with chippies and it looks amazing. Another set is called gardening. And it's also sort of a spring set, but more with emphasis put it on a garden. So we have some uh, pots and flowers and garden tools. Uh, we have like, um, okay, the name of it just dropped out from my fences, uh, gloves, but we also have some bags like a bee, butterfly, but also something I hate, which is a spider, uh, another spider, and all I can say is spiders. <laughs> we have a snail, some birds, so super cute spring set. Uh, and we have another uh, sort of spring-ish uh, uh, set, but it can be used all year round. It's called birds, and we have birds' nests, we have branches, we have birds on the branches, separate birds, we have bird houses, so uh, it's a really very versatile uh, set. And we have set called Cats and Dogs. So for all the pet lovers out there, there are some dogs and cat breeds. And I can already see my beagle dog here. Here is like... Um, I am not sure if I can name them in English. No, I, I, this is kind of a schnauzer. It looks like a um, golden retriever. Uh, here is the cat and dog together. There are some bones. There are some small toys. Uh, there is a poodle. And when, when it comes to cats, well, I am not good in car, cat breeds, but those are the fluffy cats and those are not the fluffy. Those, this looks like a sphinx to me because of the big ears. Uh, so I think everyone will be able to find their beloved pet here. Here is the Chihuahua, the warrior dog. And the last set we have is this called My Heart. And we have bigger cards in this set, uh, but we also have I love you with love and love on the arrow and a lot of hearts. So this is perfect for Valentine's Day, but also wedding cards. Um, so you can appreciate someone you love the whole year round, so you can create, car create cards with this. So this is it for this video. Don't forget to come back. Uh, for separate videos on each collection where I will show you all the elements and I'm sorry for the lighting it's so dark and so gloomy here I tried to do it with the um, natural light but it was non non-existing even at the noon <laughs> it's raining cats and dogs today and it's an awful weather so we have an artificial light and we have those light glares uh, thank you so much for staying with me and see you soon on some other video. Bye!